Now, but I want to concur with everything that you've said about praying and putting God first because you're not going to find it outside of God. And then putting in the work just because you're praying. We said earlier, you will not just levitate towards, you know, God will not lift you from bed and take you into the area of your purpose. You're just flapping your wings there like an angel. You no. Know? You have to put in the work. Stand in front of a mirror, for instance, he said, for somebody who knows that the area of their purpose has to do with speaking in front of people. Hone that skill. Perfect. Read books. Um, get rid of grammatical errors. Um, you know, learn new vocabulary. Let it be functional language as well. Um, you know, open your mind up. Uh, seek to transform whatever you're learning from your mentors and other teachers. Seek to transform that into... Um, you know, uh, land knowledge into practical use. Seek to to churn that out and bring forth results. You know, partner, network with other people, learn from them, and then to become even better than them because overtaking is allowed out here in these streets. You know, yeah. become better than your teachers, uh, 10 times better, like Akina Daniel, 10 times better than your teachers and, and the rest of the leaders because it's possible. If God, I like to think this way, if God has put you, uh, has put it in you, and has created you for it, then you're probably really good at it. You know, if God has put it in you and He has created you for that thing, you're probably great. You're going to be great at it. Well, hello there, and Bona Isa It's so great to be with you. What a great joy, honor, and privilege it is to be with you yet one more time this beautiful Monday evening. My name is Brian Mashigadi, and this is Harvest Conversation, a DCIKZ production. Here, we are talking real, raw, bold, authentic conversations in, um, concerning topics that have to do with the youthful believer. That's what we exist to do here. And we've been handling the topic on purpose for a bit now. Took a short break to handle the Harvest Conversation, to, have hand, handle, have a, <laughs> to handle the Harvest Conference. And now we are back to just put in one more installment in that purpose um, conversation. You know the conference is just has just been so with the conference, conversation, con, you know, Koveve, that... <laughs> Do you guys remember that? Kofefe? That was a word. It was uh, the president um, of the United States of America. Anyway, welcome to Harvest Conversation, and it's so good to be with you. Today in set, I have an amazing, amazing gentleman, a friend of mine. And just before we introduce you to him, I want you to do what we always do. Please share this link with as many people as you can. Let them know that we are on. At Harvest Conversation is back, and we are on, ready to have a grand time continuing to build one brick on top of the other because at the end of it all we're going to have a beautiful building to the glory of god the father if you want some information if you want to know how we can pray with you uh if you want to give your life to jesus please reach out to the contacts on your screen and let us know and someone is going to reach out to you and do the needful but for now ladies and gentlemen with me in studio is the one the only I'm going to allow him the opportunity to introduce himself karibu sana let us know your name and what you do sir thank you um hello what's good everybody um my name is stefan mwangi kamau um son and uh, um what i fellowship at dcikz and i am an actor and also a content creator yeah yeah listen to that actor yeah. and content creator create creator 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 <laughs> You create. Did you guys listen to Balugal? That was a song. Yeah. Do you remember? Uh, you listened to Balugal? Uh, no, no. Oh, yeah. Because I would be like age factor and then plus X equals like it's that math is not mathing. <laughs> yeah. You're <laughs> masmatic. 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 <laughs> but yeah, Stefan is a content creator and an actor. We've been handling the conversations on purpose, Stephen, and I know you've been able to catch uh, an installment or two. Yeah. Um, so, a according to you, what is your understanding of purpose in, in, you know, in basic Stephen dictionary? All right. Yeah. Um, just as you said, according to me, to myself, purpose is basically or simply what you have been called 
to do. And um, of what, yeah, just that, you know, what um, God has called you, you know, to do. Yeah. I, I like the simplicity of that. What you've been called to do. I'm thinking about a basic, basic thinking layman's here. Mm. Yeah, about a phone call. Mm. Like, hey, Stephen, please come on Harvest Conversation. Mm. Come on set. We'd love to have you. Yeah. Um, so when you come here, mm -hmm. you come and you do the thing that we do here, which mm. is to converse. Converse. Yes. Con converse. Converse. Okay. Yeah. Conversation. Converse. To converse. To converse. To converse. <laughs> <laughs> we come and we go. <laughs> we come and we converse. Yes. If you came here and you started to wash the set, yeah, you would be doing something outside of what we called you to do. Exactly. Yeah. Wisdom. So, <laughs> so don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> so that's. I really like that uh, that definition actually. So on top of everything we've been talking about concerning purpose, please add that on top of that. Mm -hmm. It's what you've been called to do, and the caller here is God. Exactly. Woo! Come on here. And this also might not just be tied to one thing. You might have been called to do a couple of things. So, yeah, that is also, yeah. Because what you have been called to do is just not um, stagnant on one thing specifically. You might have been called to do one thing, but also you might have been called to do a couple of things. From one place. So yes, the caller from is one God. place. The caller is God. Then it branches out. Yes. One person doing all these things. Exactly. But then it leads back to True. one person. Because uh, using your example, as you said, when, you know, you called me and, uh, hey, Stephen, I want you, you know, to come and we converse about purpose and also you could have added you said you can come wash our set you know um set up the cameras do this and that you know and so you know you have called me to do a couple of things what what an interesting definition of purpose i don't know whether you've ever thought about it i'm, I'm it's just me because me i'm thinking wow when i think about the calling then it sounds it, it's closer home it doesn't sound like a mystical thing mm. like Oh, calling. Oh, Brian. <laughs> Brian. No, yeah. it's, it's, it's such a direct thing. He speaks directly to you. I'm not, when I'm calling you, you're not thinking, hmm, ati ni nani? I can be a gaze. Just gaze. <laughs> yeah, gaze. Gaze who it is. <laughs> gaze who it is. Like, I want you to come to a place, just a place that I will show you some place. Yeah. You just gaze which place it is. No, it's a direct thing. I've called you. I've told you who I am what I want you to come and do. Yes. And you come and you do the thing. It's pretty direct. Yeah, sure. And I feel like that takes the edge off those of us who might be struggling in the area of purpose. Because mm -hmm. the calling comes from God. In him, there's no darkness. There's no confusion. For he's sure. called you. He's going to be specific about what he's calling you to do. Truly. So the thing is just for you to sit down and hear who is calling. Pay attention to the call. Yes, pay attention to the call. And the caller. And the caller. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because I think, yeah, when you definitely pay attention the caller mm -hmm. definitely you will hear the call mm -hmm. yeah all right Stephen if you if you if you don't mind my asking how old are you I am 22 I turned 22 last year that is 2021 November mm -hmm. yes so you are you turned 20 22 last year last year November 2021 uh -huh. is, yeah so you're turning 20 Three. Three this year. This year. Yet to turn. Yet to turn 23 this right. year. I am that young. Okay. Yes. So, being there, you've been born about 22 years ago. Um, you've come until right now as we sit in this place yeah. on um, in uh, April of 2022. Two. You are able to confidently say, I am an actor and a content creator. Yes. Do you feel strongly that this is the area of your purpose, of your calling? Right now, I can boldly mm -hmm. say that I am in my area of calling. Mm -hmm. As in, I am sure about acting mm -hmm. and being a creative. Mm -hmm. Yes. Among the other things that the Lord has called you to do, but this is it. This is definitely it. Wow. Not unless I'm hearing the wrong thing, but I am <laughs> sure... 
I am certain uh-huh. that I am not hearing mm-hmm. the wrong thing. Great. And that's very important because from there, I want us to pick it up then and talk about mm-hmm. how has the journey been over these 22, going on 23 years? Oh. How has it been? Did you always know that acting was you? Did you always know that you're going to be doing content forever? Or did you, when I grow up, I want to be a surgeon. <laughs> did, at what point did that, what was that like? Uh, um, definitely, truly, um, honestly speaking, I did not, when I was young, okay, young being um, primary school or high school, I had, I was not certain that I was going to be a creative or an actor. I was in um, the drama club. I participated um, in the drama club in high school, but I just knew, you know, I can act or I I can sing or I can, um, you know, I am a creative. But it is after I finished high school that um, it started becoming more clear that I am called or I am supposed to be an actor. And, and not even just immediately, because after high school is, I immediately joined uh, what the creative industry or the acting industry right after high school uh, that is in 2018 that is when i got to do my first production and now with time it has become more clear and more clear because even when i do other things uh, my heart is not settled you know i just want to act when i see an audition post i just want to go for that audition and now even now looking back or um, when now I was young it's now starting to make sense oh so I'm seeing you know um, beats and beats in my childhood where you know oh it's like I started this thing way back but I had no clue that I wanted to do this because at some point I think I wanted to be a pilot yeah <laughs> Made it to be pilot of your own destiny. Come on here, somebody. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but now, way later after high school and um, doing a couple of productions here and there, it became clearer. And also, communicating with the caller, who is God, it became more clear that this is where I am supposed to be. Okay. Yes. All right. Very interesting on that, um, you know, that entire leading up to where you are, um, there's clearly people who are involved in that, in the journey of you being a pilot, for instance. (laughs) There's your parents, yeah, uh, who I think were right there, you know, paying the fees and, Mm -hmm. you know, really following you up to be like, Mm. and what do you want to be? What are you doing with your life? Mm. Uh, maybe speak to that especially because how was that like? Was it a struggle? Did you um, struggle bringing them on board? Mm. Yeah. Up to to date, um, if you're my friend or we have interacted um, like in depth, you know there's this one thing I say. I thank God for my parents because them being African parents... <laughs> Um, They have been really, really supportive. There is at no point in time where they questioned or they discouraged me. Because as I said, I started this right after high school. Because um, I think it was in January 2018. And my friend sent me this audition poster and went to the Kenya National Theater, auditioned. And I started, you know, and I think they have come for all of my shows, if I'm not wrong. Yes, yes. And I think it's just one, and it's because they were out of Nairobi, you know, but they have been there all through. Even in my first premiere, they were there. They have been really supportive, and I thank God for them, Mom. Dad, Mr. and Mrs. Kamau, God bless you for the grace and the love and the support. I think it's just by God's grace. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's really special. Shout out to you, Mr. and Mrs. Um, Kamau. <clears throat> we really, really, I think that's a really special thing when you have parents who are able to support you yeah. and be there with you and to not breathe down your neck that they really must get the pilot uh, in the family because, you know, <laughs> be what it be, bro. Be what it be. <laughs> Man. Um, so, I mean, thank you. We, we bless the Lord for, for your parents. Truly. Um, but the, could, would you think about what life would be if you know, if your parents are not as supportive as they are, because uh, with us living, and I'm sure with all the other actors that you work together with, mm -hmm. you, you must hear a lot of stories about um, parents of African descent mm -hmm. are not so crazy mm -hmm. about, especially here in Kenya, we are not so crazy about taking that as an option. Let that be your hobby. Yes. After you have left engineering class, go and act. Yeah. You know, after you have finished your rotations in the wards as mm. a doctor, then go and act. Wanitanga mchezo. You know, because <laughs> I think um, them deriving that word from drama, so, and uh, or I think the word play, so <laughs> ni, ni mchezo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you know, um, just do your own thing, um, be a pilot, be an engineer, then maybe on the weekends, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I think that would have been really, really hard for me uh, because being also um, a Christian, you know, uh, God calls us to obey our parents and to honor them. And so... Uh, <laughs> bless, bless the Lord. <laughs> bless the Lord. Ex exactly, because I have had stories where um, there's a friend of mine who was telling me that um, they joined um, film school, but then they were told uh, to drop out and f they were forced to study this course that their parents wanted them to study. So they studied that course, uh, graduated, finished, then uh, just hustled got their own money, then joined film school again, now started to pursue film. Mm. Yes, and uh, it, it's, it's definitely not easy because there's a blessing that comes with, um, you know, when your parents allow you to do what you do and they bless you. Uh, it's not by default, but, you know, it's like automatically you just, there is ease in that, you know, rather than the you not having their blessing mm -hmm. it's um a bit hard and wow. tough for the parents that are watching this um you know that's a passionate it's a it's a it's a passionate um statement of fact and reality from you know someone who's right there into the thick of it if you're there and your children are coming to you um you know just asking for support i think I think the most we can do is just to support our children, pray for them, pray to God that they are hearing the correct call, and just, you know, support them, be there for them. I, I think, I mean, I would say the same, I would reiterate the same, seated from where I sit um, in the youth ministry, just um, the support of parents is everything. I know sometimes we, we act like we don't care about whether you support us or not. We'll still go out and do our thing. But deep down, yeah, we really, all we want is just the support of the parents, you know, just, just, just say might yes. sound crazy, but just, just, <laughs> just, just, my video game, imagine these days video games pay, people sit down, there's a profession called gaming, 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 idako, mchezo, like that is now literally, mchezo, mchezo, yo ni mchezo, ya ukweli, yeah, yeah, but there's people who are making money, out of that crazy money in Kenya, actually, yeah. right now, yeah. um, there's a there's a there's a field called YouTubing, content creating. When who are you? I'm a YouTuber. Exactly. And those people raking. I know. I personally know one YouTuber who just recently has cashed in a six-figure check mm -hmm. that came in from work that they're doing, and their channel is not even about it covering politics or Sijuinia. It's also just covering around the same things, you know. 
hii mchezo tu yenye tunaendelea but they are doing really well <laughs> they are doing really really well yeah so i i mean to the audience that might be catching us that's parents or guardians um maybe consider kindly uh you know opening that up to these young people allowing them to um go out into the areas that the lord has called because sometimes the call is not you know sometimes we don't understand the call we respect and honor our parents um mm. you know because we we believe in being taught and being instructed but somebody said um to me on sunday actually that the call is not a conference call and that's truly a, a good thing it's also a bad thing you know because you are oh mate or you are peke yako uko ndani alone alafu au wengine wajisikia so you it, it sits on you to come and communicate what the lord has said exactly i want to follow up that conversation because you mentioned you know with you being a christian and some of the struggles that you found we all know that um we don't particularly have the market flooding with um uh acting what are they called the the like liquid and these others or like called? christian um production or yes. or rather production houses which um believe yes. in or use the bible yes as their you know like to derive their core values yes. and even also their content creation even their content creation yes we don't have very many of that flooding the market yes. not just in kenya but i mean look at all these other places look at even like you know this um uh streaming platforms yes. uh, all of them across the the world we don't have them that are particularly christian based yeah yes. so if you if you think about now yourself mm. thinking this is the area of your calling this is the area of your purpose this is where you're turning your passion into profit yes and you're a christian the lord has called you into that place and there's no way the lord is calling you into that field to fail exactly how is that how has that experience been like with you being a believer mm. um in such a field um definitely the word i will use is it is not easy and also it is not hard okay. yes because i want to believe that if at all it is god who has called me um definitely i will work hard towards um what he is calling me to do but also it won't be that hard and it won't be also that um easy and glory be to god and thanks to god because we have you know um such productions um who i i won't maybe not call them christian productions but at least production houses who believe in the bible or directors or filmmakers or script writers who believe um in the word and now coming also now being a creative and an actor or just in general a creative you definitely have to be intentional about your craft you know because you will get a role whereby maybe um you will be required to do something which is not in line with the word you know and in most cases you will find that that role is paying you a lot of money and good money ile pesa unajua hii nikiipata ai ai it will change it will turn my life around <laughs> like people around me will notice there is something different mm. with stephen mwangi <laughs> Haka even alikuwa anaka ka tukuangalia tunaona eh Brian squeeze him anaanza kungara you know nilifanya ningare truly you know and um yes and so you will find that and that is why i'm saying you will have to be intentional and you also to trust in god that he will still make a way in that industry which is flooded um with creatives that don't necessarily um stand or rather believe family in the word of god and just you know be able to trust the process and to trust um in god and also you know um try and look for creatives who are also um 
believe in what you believe in because also that um, helps you or makes your journey easy rather than um, just sitting there and not doing anything to, you know, make sure that you're in the midst of um, creatives who believe in the world. Just as, as Christians, you know, um, you know, bad character ruins, corrupts good morals. So, and as a Christian, you can just be surrounding yourselves um, with unbelievers because in the long run, they will start, you know, pulling you in, you know, and so same case applies you know you can't be a doctor and you all 100 percent of your time you spend with musicians <laughs> it doesn't make sense you know if you're a doctor i will find you in the hospital so as a christian believer creative you want to you know hang around and connect and be intentional with your craft that's a really powerful point um not just for creatives, I think for the rest of us, really. Uh, I mean, quoting First Corinthians fifteen thirty-three, that uh, bad company corrupts good morals. Actually, says, "Do not be deceived." Exactly. Yeah. And um, you know, Proverbs um, thirteen verse twenty, I think, has something to say about that, saying, um, "He who walks with the wise grows wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm." Suffers harm. I love that you called it intentionality. Mm. I mean, saying it's not it's not easy, but it's also not difficult. It's not impossible. Yes, it is not impossible. It's actually. doable. Yes. But you need to put in some work to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you alluded to something, and I want you to just um, talk about that as we begin to learn this. Um, in the area of partnerships and, you know, networking, uh, as we talk about purpose and the area of, you know, turning passion into profit, um, you, you cannot do it alone in the film industry. Not. It's it's not possible for you to do. Uh, do, do are there are there are there plays that people do alone? Isn't it our name? Yeah. Um, what solo plays or one man? Those plays? ones. Yes. Those we ones. Have. Um, but they're not even all that popular. I, for instance, I can't name one off the top of my head. Or movies. I've not seen a movie that has only one person. You know. Uh, right. Because even that, you can't produce for yourself and be the yeah. director and be the camera person and follow yourself up with cameras unless you're shooting a mm -hmm. selfie movie or something <laughs> like that, you know. Uh, unless you're doing a vlog. I mean, I think I you can do a vlog by yourself. Yeah. But so it speaks, your field must have a lot of, you know, partnership and networking. Mm. But then you're talking about intentionality in the area of picking out who are you going to partner with. Yeah? Yes. Um, let me actually pick it from scripture uh, um, when you're thinking about how to stand in this field. I think Second Timothy 2.22 talks about how we should, you know, flee from youthful passions and lusts and, you know, pursue righteousness and godliness together with those who call on, on the name of the Lord out of a pure heart. You do it with people. Yes. You're not doing it alone. Alone. Yeah. Um, so together with that, I, I would like you to maybe, as we learn this, speak to someone out there who is looking to get into the arts. But like you correctly said, it's those those tricky roles are the ones that look like they pay. Yeah. And waiting, there's this notion that we carry around, especially as young people, good guys finish last. Maybe speak to somebody who is out there that's looking to get into the arts. I know it's not just this, it's dancing, it's, um, you know, doing all these things. And you are young, you're not old, so, I mean, you're able to do plays, um, not one, not two, not three. I don't, I, can you count the number of plays you've done? Um, do you know them? Yes, yes. Okay, they are yours, I'm sure you would you yeah, know them. Yeah, I... Yeah, I know the number of plays I have done. Okay, and a movie. There's a movie. How many movies? One. One movie that premiered. In yes. one, two. Mwanga. 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 Yes. Um, Mwanga is not yet um, online, but it's in the kitchen, you know, um, of being uploaded to the public. To our streaming platforms? Exactly. And also, uh, hopefully, it will be coming to our cinemas Ooh. soon. It's a Christian movie. Yes, Mwanga is a Christian movie. Wow. We need more of that. Oh, I personally think we need more of that. Yeah. I mean, imagine now giving examples. For instance, with War Room, Mwanga, yo! Yeah. 
Come can't on, wait. Now. Can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. So, anyway, speak to, to speak to somebody out there who is looking to get into the arts, and that's the area of their calling, the area of their purpose. They feel like strongly God is calling them towards that, to use their gift mix and skill set in that way. But they are a believer, and they are young, but they don't know. The, this notion seems to carry their day that young that good guys finish last. Maybe encourage someone like that or challenge someone like that. And that's your camera over there. Yes. Um, the, there is this notion that especially in the film or acting or the creative industry that, you know, it's hard to maneuver, especially if you're, you know, you're just getting started. But um, for me, I believe, you know, there is a process. You know, you do not just wake up and boom, you're a superstar or you're, you know, um, an award-winning director or filmmaker or an actor. And definitely you being a Christian, there is a process that God will definitely take you through, which will, of course, not be a bed of roses. And also it won't be at the, um, tiresome or, you know, dreadful that you do not want to be there. Um, but it is going to be, you know, a good walk. And so you just need to trust in God and allow him to walk you through and allow yourself um, to listen to the Holy Spirit as he will definitely guide you through when you're given a role. And not just um, when you're given that tricky role, you know. Um, you'll find yourself in a maybe a production that is definitely not Christian, and you're not given a tricky role, but also in what that role that you're given, in the diligence that you put, you know, in the discipline that you have on set, you know, you being a Christian trickles down to every part of your creativity, you getting your lines right, you know, just being diligent at what you do is definitely also make, um, will definitely make you stand out in that production. And they will get to see, you know, there is something different with this person. You know, he keeps time, he's never late on set, he gets their lines right, you know, they, they have mastered their craft, they spend their time well, they speak well, they are polite, they are courteous. So it's, it's all, it's all, Round, not just when you're given a role where you like have to show off um, your your body parts. You know, it's even in the cleanest of roles that you have to show. Um, you know that just be good at it. Yes, and allow the Holy Spirit just to lead you and walk you through the process. Wow. So powerful. Um, just, just be diligent. Just put your back into it. Put in the work. Exactly. Put saying. in the work. We kept. We've, we've said even in the previous sets on purpose, excellence, value, those things. Exactly. And those just things. A little bit. Um, as especially the young people, you know, who are we have not yet, you know, been at TV, been noticed. Mm -hmm. We always. Um, uh, feel a bit bad when we are not selected for these big roles, and definitely as if I am a filmmaker, of course I'm there for the money, yeah. and so I will select this person who has put in their work, who has put in their time, and who has mastered their craft, and I want them to be in my production because at the end of the day, this is an industry that we want to make money, or you know I want to be this production to be successful, so I will use this person and also. You just put in your time. There's a phrase that says, you know, for you to be called a master of your craft, you know, you have to have spent like 10,000 hours. That's a lot of time. You know, you know, and you mastering your lines. And my director says this, um, time, discipline, and commitment will definitely, in every single field, time, discipline, and commitment will definitely make you stand out. So master your craft, and with time, you won't have to wait for auditions, or to, they will be calling you. And yeah, well, that is it. It's not that easy, but it's, it's also not that, it's not impossible. It's, yeah, 
because you got God on your side. Come man. on, <laughs> come on here with the with the accent. Come on here, come on. I love it. It's not. It's difficult, but it's also not impossible because you've got God on your side. I think that's a really good place to learn. Just before we call it a wrap, um, Stephen, uh, I'm going to shoot you three quick fire questions. Fire. Um, quick, no, quick fire. Just because they are following each other, they're ah. not hard questions. Um, and we start about now. Do you love what you do? I love what I do. Are there days that are so difficult you get so tired? Definitely, yes. So why do you still do it? Um, because at the end of the day, it being tired, it being um, uh, what um, me having to work hard and put in a lot of effort, at the end of the day, it gives me satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Satisfaction is the word. A satisfaction. And me um, getting to realize that this is my calling, so if definitely I'm not in my calling, it will just be hard for me. You're doing so somebody else's job. Exactly. And because I do not want it to be hard and dreadful, I'd rather stay here. Stay where you've been called, ladies and gentlemen. Might be hard, but stay where you've been called. I remember somebody shared with me and said, the greatest tragedy of man is to get to the top of a wall only to realize that that ladder was leaning against the wrong wall. And I think that's really bad. Don't, don't, if you win 100, you know, 100 meter races, you're still a failure if that's not the race God called you to do. Yes. If you are a marathoner, if you win 100 times the 100 meter race, mm. you're still a failure because God called you to, call, to run the marathon. Right. And also God will give you the grace. Mm -hmm. He will definitely give you the grace to endure the hardships. You know, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will definitely direct your path. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 bring us to the end of this conversation ladies and gentlemen. That has been your boy Stephen. Stephen Mwangi Kamau and the thank PH. You. Thank you. So what? Stephen with a PH. Stephen with a PH. All right. Step hen. Yeah. That's actually, how it yeah. should be. Step hen. Step hen. <laughs> <laughs> Guys at work call me Step hen. So. Step hen Mwangi. That's. That's how we do it. Thank you so much for being with us on Harvest Conversation. Thank you for being part of our network. We have loved, loved, loved being with you it's on here today. We have continued to learn. If you have questions for Stefan, if you want to know how to reach him on Instagram, it's at? Um, underscore full stop Stefan. S-T-E-F-E-N. Underscore full stop. I'm a Munitanga period. Stefan. S-T-E-F-E-N. At underscore full stop S T E F E N. That's Stefan for you on Instagram. In case you want to slide into those DMs and ask for practical or personal um, questions to him, he's a believer. He can lead you um, to the Lord Jesus Christ. He can answer those questions. He can show you how to do a few things. And maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you've just uh, cleared and you don't know what to do and you feel like this is it. You'd like to give it a try. You could also ask him how uh, to start. I see him post every once in a while. He posts these auditions and places that have openings and that maybe is what you are looking for. Want to call it a wrap right about now. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Continue to ask your questions. Um, continue to reach out to us. But from here, we pray for you. May the Lord lead you with his victorious right hand right Amen. into the area of your purpose and calling to the praise of his name and to the fame of his kingdom, even to the shame of the enemy. Let's meet Amen. again next time. My name is Brian Mashigadi, and this is Harvest Conversation. God bless you.